Let's see. We'll kind of see when this buffet starts to set in. Obviously, altitude is a factor here, so um, it's going to stall a little sooner here up high. But And also, if we have any sort of load factor imposed on the airplane, it's going to stall sooner. So I'm going to roll wings level here. See, I'm already descending. It's already really hard to maintain altitude there. So it's probably going to drop out of speed real quickly here. Starting to get a tiny buffet, I think. No, maybe not. Slowing down about 180. Oh, there's the buffet for sure. There's the buffet about one. Okay, and it's right on that uh, arrow tick mark, whatever that means, on the uh, airspeed indicator. I'm just trying to trim, 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 trim. Just keeping holding that back pressure. Just trying to keep that nose on the horizon. And keep one. It keeps wanting to descend, right? So, airspeed's decaying. Look at that buffet, that's pretty sweet, man. It's shaking pretty hard. All right. Let's see at what point the nose drops for me. All right, there we go. And I'm just gonna hold the stick full back and see what this does. See if it just automatically puts me in a spin. All right, stick's held back. Definitely in the spin now, this is spin number two. And I'm just holding the stick back here and see what it does. Wants to fall out of the sky. <laughs> Oh wow, look at that altitude loss. Oh man. Yep, all right, so I'm gonna let go of the stick, release the nose, full opposite rudder. Might even need a little forward pressure on the nose to break that stall, or break the spin. And then we will recover. All right, I got about 200 knots there. I'm gonna ease in the power and try to get a little flight here and try to climb out. Wow, we lost uh, about 13 grand, 13,000 feet in that, in that spin there, so. Yeah, it just gives you a really good idea as to what the airplane can do when you when you go up and you go spin it, right? Um, I think we really, really got, you know, it started to really buff it hard there down around 150. The buffet started around 180, 170. Um, really got pretty violent around 150. And you guys may have known, seen better than me, but around 140, 130 is really, as I kept that stick back there um, and tried to keep, tried to induce the spin itself. I didn't even put in any um, rudder in there to induce a spin. Typically, like on a lot of more stable GA aircraft, like you have to put in, you have to really make it spin. I mean, it's it's hard, you know. And so, yeah, I held the stick back, but it really kind of spun itself with the stick full back. So, um, and then as it got into that auto rotation, it just stayed there and uh, hovered around 130, 140, and kept that spin going. And so, to to get out of the spin, what I did was I applied so power idle, aileron is neutral, full opposite rudder, and I had to actually push forward slightly on the stick to break the stall. So just keep that in mind. Um, the acronym that I use for that is P-A-R-E, pair. And so power idle, aileron is neutral, rudder full opposite, and elevator is either neutral or slightly forward. So it just depends on the aircraft that you're flying. And, There we are. So um, let's keep climbing. Oh, we're already at 24,000. What I'm going to do here is pack the throttle. I'm going to maintain level flight, and we're going to do a dirty stall to a dirty spin and see how this thing recovers. So I'll apply our spin recovery procedures, um, P-A-R-E, pair. So power idle, ailerons are neutral, rudder full opposite, and elevator is going to be neutral or slightly forward just depending upon um, the type of aircraft and I did notice that in the clean configuration at least it did want some nose slight um, forward pressure on the on the stick to uh, to break that stall and to get out of it so throwing down my gear throwing down flaps I don't know the flap speeds if anyone has a uh, Better handle on that. Let me know. I see this uh, this yellow tick on the airspeed indicator. It probably means something to that effect. Something to do with the gear or the flaps, my guess. But we'll see how this goes. So last time we started to get a buffet around 180 at level flight with thrust idle. I'm trimming. 
So no buffet yet, and we're around 180, but that's because we're dirty, right? We can fly at lower air speeds with the flaps, obviously. So still looking good, still looking pretty smooth. No buffets. I'm trying to maintain level of flight, too. To, there's 150. Okay, 150, dirty. We're getting a slight buffet. It's getting a little heavier, and it's a little more pronounced. And we're still in the descent, so yeah, just keep that in mind. So I'm going to pull... As we get in, as that incipient spin begins, I'm going to hold back on the stick. Just hold back on the stick and let it put itself into a spin. That's what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And it's cool when it kind of cons a little bit because you can kind of see this is. So we're looking for the auto rotation now. So I'm going to release the stick and it's centered and it's in that full auto rotation state, right? So to get out of it, power is idle, aileron's neutral. Rudder is full opposite direction, and that's helping it out a little bit. And actually, okay, full opposite rudder, and then a little bit of nose forward pressure will help us break that stall. There's our speed coming back. Uh, hopefully our flaps will retract if we get a little too fast. So in the recovery, we're going to add a little bit of power. I'm going to retract the gear, release one notch of flaps. And we've really got to be trimming this entire time because I've got a lot of forward pressure on the stick as we're changing configurations like that. And we're real fast now, so they probably, there's the last notch of flaps and they probably auto retracted for me, so. Pretty good. Uh, and I did better, well, I guess we still lost about 14,000. We started about 24. I was descending probably 1,000, 2,000 feet per minute um, initially in the level stall. But then as the spin began, that's really where we lost a lot of that altitude, so.